April of 2015, I was taken to the local hospital by Westfield paramedics. I had ended up passing out and falling down on the living room floor. They did scans, and the next day, my primary care physician proceeded to explain about the masses and that in all of his years of being a physician, he had never seen so much mass inside of one person. The morning of my diagnosis, my wife said it was one of the darkest days in her life. You've heard all these stories about cancer, and generally those stories don't turn out well. When I was diagnosed here by the local surgeons and doctors who said they could do nothing, and then I get to Leahy, where a surgeon walks in the door and says, I got this. Hearing those three words were like, Yahoo, you know? I started with chemotherapy, and I had the lung surgery in January. Getting robotic thoracic surgery was in and out. That gave me the feeling of more time to live, more time to enjoy the family, more time to enjoy my plants and gardening. I love trimming shrubs and bushes into different kind of little shapes. Anything that photosynthesizes, that's one of my biggest passions in life. You know, as far as caring for plants or caring for yourself, it kind of boils down to routines. You know that once a week you gotta check every plant. When you're on chemo and you're not feeling so good, you gotta take your vitamins, you gotta build yourself up so your body can fight the cancer along with whatever medicine is fighting it. Every morning the sun comes up, it's like a new chance. You still got that chair? You still got that chair? Got the original here. Oh my God. We let you eat it, it was cooked, what the heck? Leahy's given me a whole bunch of chapters in my life. I'm Bruce Druniani, and I'm a cancer survivor.